Welcome to another episode of the Zebra Influencer Series. I'm your host, Scott Reyes, the Senior Manager for Alliances and ISVs in North America at Zebra Technologies. I have the distinct honor of working with alliances and software organizations and helping them work through the Zebra ecosystem. On today's episode, we have the distinct honor of working with Darush Afshar, who's coming to us from Salona. And Darush is the VP of Business Development and Strategic Operations at Salona, a company that offers enterprises a turnkey private cellular network that they can manage themselves. Darush is a longtime business development executive with a history of building successful partnerships at companies that built the wireless industry like Cisco, Cisco HPE, Aruba. He started his career as a consultant at McKinsey in the Silicon Valley, focused on high tech organizations like Microsoft. He's also a veteran of multiple venture backed uh, startups, including cybersecurity and user enterprise domains. He's an operator focused on strategic business development, alliances, and growth within the ecosystem. At Salona, Darush has the honor of working with Zebra Technologies as one of his major partnerships. Let's welcome Darush to the stage. Thanks, Scott. Nice to see you again. Hey, Darush, let's kick this off and uh, let's tell the audience something interesting uh, that they wouldn't find on LinkedIn about you. Well, uh, I'm a master scuba diver who learned to dive on the Great Barrier Reef. Darush, thanks for sharing uh, about the master scuba diver. I know it takes a lot of time uh, to get that certification. Uh, let's jump into a conversation about you and how you got into uh, technology and how you got into Salona. Yeah, so so my first exposure to technology was um, working for one of the early cell cellular pioneers in the United States and then the International Telecommunications Union as well. Um, and years later, here we are. Um, at Salona, I focus on uh, partnerships and our overall ecosystem with a host of vendors. Uh, Zebra, Zebra is a quite strategic vendor. And um, among the strategic partnerships, I focus on um, finding ways that we can work closer together for the ultimate success of our customers to make our customer experience better. Um, yeah, and we're happy to be a collaborator with Salona. Uh, so, Drew, can you tell us a little more about Salona and some of the exciting things that you guys are working on? So, so we're really focused on solving problems for the enterprise um, with their network coverage, really. Um, enterprises have coverage holes, disconnects, interference, um, and something that neither Wi-Fi nor the, the carriers, um, when they've provided 4G, um, 5G can solve. <laughs> Um, to date, um, enterprises have really lacked the ability to experience a consistent coverage uh, with low latency. And they also suffer from things like handoff issues um, when devices are in motion. Um, so until recently, private cellular had required really expensive spectrum um, and licensing that was, was not really accessible for most enterprises. And based on a development um, development in the technology uh, that the FCC did called the CBRS, um, that enabled an opening up of big opportunity for enterprises. Um, and, and this is something that all the Zebra devices now support. Um, and so we focus on delivering a turnkey solution that enables enterprises to take advantage of that to improve their coverage. So let's dive in a little bit to Salona and how does that work? Like can you explain to us how would I become, how would I, how would I use Salona in my environment? So, so at, at Salona, we're building the only turnkey private cellular solution for the enterprise using this CBRS technology. We can provide 4X, to some cases 10X, the coverage um, over Wi-Fi and, and, and guarantee network bandwidth and latency for devices like Zebra tablets on the Salona network, all while interoperating and working with the enterprise's existing Wi-Fi. Um, so we provide this, this overlay um, with additional coverage um, to, cover, to cover the network's blind spots. And so how do we do that? We do that via, via a subscription-based solution um, that, that is quite simple and is meant to be simple and easy to manage by the enterprise. Um, we include all the hardware that the enterprise need to run your private cellular network SIMs are in there, eSIMs as well for the devices. There's a cloud-based management system orchestration tool. Um, 
Then there's this patented quality of service mechanism called micro slicing, which enables the enterprise to select what its mission critical applications are and put those in these dedicated lanes for high QoS on their network connectivity. Um, and best of all, this is this is designed uh, to seamlessly integrate into an enterprise's existing network. And that's pretty important um, because it, it makes it much easier to manage. Um, so the enterprise IT managers uh, don't have to have cellular expertise and they can still realize the benefits of Solana's turnkey solution. Great. So as I understand it, you know, you guys are adjacent and adding value to an existing Wi-Fi uh, infrastructure or system because you have a whole private wireless uh, solution that would be added to an existing customer uh, or organization or warehouse. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that integration that you have? Because you mentioned tablets. What are the integrations that you have with Zebra? Obviously, Zebra has an important footprint among a host of enterprises. And, and as Zebra has grown to support private cellular, Solana, um, as a part of this partnership, has really focused on certifying those Zebra devices for interoperability. And we've certified all of them. So we've already certified um, all the private cellular enabled devices that Zebra has in market uh, from the ET45 to the ET85 tablet to the TC78, TC26 smart handhelds, um, TC57 and, and um, I'm sorry, TC58. Uh, and and we, we certify those for interoperability so that they work reliably on the Solona network. Well, you'll also be able to use Solona SIMs and eSIMs with those Zebra tablets. And we're working for optimization, working together with Zebra for optimizations on that. You'll be able to centrally manage things like bandwidth and latency on a per device or even per application level using Solona's micro slicing technology. We're also working on enhancing the device onboarding experience for our joint customers by leveraging efficiencies in user identity and security in order to make customer workflows simpler and more secure at the same time. All of this is done with the overall objective to, to ensure that our joint customers realize a smoother, more intuitive, um, higher uh, fidelity, more secure experience with their Zebra devices running on their Solona network. And there is just to make sure that I understand this correctly, when you say micro slicing, and I'm not a network expert, I'm thinking quality of service, and I can designate a specific amount of bandwidth to a particular application or, or uh, infrastructure that's needed within um, my warehouse or in my yard. Is that correct? That's correct. That's exactly right. And, and so in, in that sense, there's, what kind of customers are you guys looking to, um, to acquire as Salona? So we, we, we're focused on the, the uncarpeted enterprise customer. Um, those are customers with sort of a semi-industrial feel. They may have distribution centers. They may have retail, um, outdoor yards, uh, places where um, out, outdoor applications and use cases where Wi-Fi has been cost prohibitive or simply hasn't had coverage for them to date. Um, so in, in that regard, we're, we're seeing traction in... Um, numerous of the Global 2000 customers, um, many of them with distribution centers, um, you know, many of the, the retailers that are currently uh, Zebra customers, um, as well as the industrial, um, industrial manufacturing uh, spaces. Um, those, are all, those are all customer categories where we're realizing um, growing traction. Excellent, and, and Darish, as you know, Zebra is based on verticals, or that's how we kind of go to market with our sales teams, um, and that's how we're structured. So, and our channel teams are structured in every same way, right? They're looking at verticals and how they grow. Can you help us understand which verticals, if we're talking about warehousing or transportation logistics, like, can you expand on Absolutely. that a little bit and tell us where you guys are going? Absolutely. So warehousing and logistics, verticals, manufacturing, oil and gas, retail, um, healthcare as well. Uh, I think in terms of the zebra verticals and the way zebra defines them it would be your mtl category manufacturing transportation and logistics as well as retail um and then and then some of the other industrial ones but it would be primarily those two as well as well as healthcare excellent and can you tell us a little bit of the trends that you guys are seeing now that you're 
uh, you're selling into these verticals. What you know, what are the customers asking for? Or, um, what are their what are the requirements? Well, absolutely. So, so one of the requirements is: Do they interoperate um, with the Zebra devices that support private cellular? And thanks to Zebra investing in this space, Zebra has a growing portfolio, like I mentioned a little earlier, of a, of a host of devices, from the tablets to the smart handhelds, and and customers are asking about um, how do they interoperate? Um, can they be comfortable that their Zebra investment um, will will dovetail with their Solona investment. And so we're seeing growing traction with that. And what's exciting is we're, we're seeing them, them grow together. Um, I think other, other trends that we're seeing at Solona are um, the ability for customers to expand and invest across their organization. We're doing lots of POCs where it starts in one site, the customer then decides to proceed with commercial deployment, and then they expand to other sites as well because we're solving use cases once if they're in that vertical these are problems they have across their organization and that's also taking us to uh, other markets as well um there's many of these organizations are multinational organizations um and so that that involves a global expansion global asks as well so we're seeing a lot of um the customers when they, once they bite wanting to roll this out to numerous sites. And that's exciting for us. Yeah, I can see how that's exciting, right? You get to roll out new customers. You get to expand the use cases within those customers. Um, <coughs> excuse me. One of the, the things that are, we're focusing is in our channel partners. As you know, 95% of our business is really via the channel. So if our channel partners or our customers wanted to connect with you, how would they go about doing that? For us, the channel partners and the joint channel partners that we've been onboarding are a really important part of how we go to market. Um, they can they can email us directly at zebra dash salona at salona io, and we'll happily answer any questions they've got. Um, we're we're constantly um, onboarding them and enabling them, um, and that's something that 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 we're doing on an ongoing basis in partnership with the zebra channel organization. But channel partners, please feel free to reach out. Excellent. Thank you, Jirish. And so are there any last thoughts you'd like to leave with the audience? Well, really that private cellular, private wireless offers a strong alternative to um, coverage problems that you've had to date, um, whether it's Wi-Fi or carrier provided cellular, and you've had to do stopgap fixes, which, which, which aren't ideal. Um, consider private cellular, consider private wireless that we offer as a way to solve those problems um, and maintain the connectivity of your Zebra devices. Um, we solve that quite well. And, and we do that at, at a very low total cost of ownership um, with a rapid time to value. We're very proud of that. Um, in fact, total cost of ownership tends to be lower uh, than, than Wi-Fi um, overall. Um, and again, the time to value is, is typically hours um, for the customer to turn that on. Um, so it's easy to try. Um, and there's a growing list of Zebra devices that support it, that, that it just makes sense to try. Um, you can learn more about and anybody from customers to channel partners to um, Zebra folk. You can learn more about the advantages of what we're doing with Zebra, um, including which devices are Salona certified and how our joint customers can benefit or joint channel partners simply by going to a, a page we, we've designed, which is dedicated to this topic. And that is Salona.io, Salona, C-E-L-O-N-A dot I-O forward slash zebra. That's simple. Hey, Darush, thank you so much for putting on that site so that the zebras and channel partners can learn a little bit more about what you guys are doing. Um, I have a question though. What, and it's a question about questions. So what questions, if a customer or a channel partner is interested in Salona, what questions should they be asking themselves or they should be asking the customers to understand that they should be reaching out to you? So, so one fundamental, very simple question uh, that they should be asking that we're seeing resonate across the market is, how happy are you with your device connectivity today? Do you feel like your device connectivity for your Zebra devices could be better? Are you open to solutions that could help you improve that connectivity? If the answer is yes, you should consider private wireless from Salona. We're also seeing uh, trends around digital transformation. 
where customers need ubiquitous, reliable connectivity. Ask the, ask the customer about what, what are their plans for digital transformation? Do they have a plan for that? Is reliable, ubiquitous connectivity a key tenant of that? If so, think about this. Also, this notion of connected workers, workflow management with Zebra tablets, Zebra scanners, forklifts, connecting the forklifts, AGVs, video surveillance, IoT devices in motion, anything that would require um, a high fidelity, reliable connection to those Zebra devices, ask the customer if they're having issues with that. Um, because fundamentally, a lack of reliable connectivity, it affects productivity. It grows the cost. Um, it has many implications that aren't ideal for the enterprise. And so if they're able to solve that connectivity, especially in places where there's IoT devices in motion or there's work outdoors in outdoor yards or large physical areas, consider private wireless, consider Salona, and, and we'd be happy to, to help you solve that problem. Excellent. It was very good. Thank you so much. Um, you know, as to your point, customers and channel partner, we're all looking at automation. Automation, I think, is a big thing. Business transformation teams are in all these different types of customers from the different verticals of MTNL, healthcare, and retail. And I think everybody should be looking at how to make sure they're highly connected all the time, especially if they're putting in new automation and new projects in. But Darush, on behalf of Zebra Technologies, I would like to thank you for your time for sharing and comparing your knowledge with the audience, our channel partners and our customers who are going to be seeing this. Uh, and I'd like to thank the audience who's watching this video and spending the time with us. Thank you so much for learning a little bit more about Zebra and Salona. Uh, I'd ask you to leave a comment, please click on like and let us know what you'd like to see next time. Uh, until next time, thank you. <laughs>